mean, I've been racing for 24 years, so I've, I've gone through a whole range of, of clothing and, and technology and how it's come about. And I remember when I first started, you know, I was wool shorts, wool jersey. Those early races, I had like women's wool and tights on, you know, to keep warm. Um, and using like football socks as overshoes and, and things like that. So, you know, you're constantly cold and, and, and uh, in pain, really, I suppose, through the winter, especially on the road, you know. Um, and again, even through the summer, you remember it's like scratchy and itchy, this, these uh, early woolen jerseys and stuff. I mean, Lycra was just kind of just coming through then. Technology is moving along pretty quickly now, and, and uh, I think keeping up and, and being specific and, and being cutting edge and, you know, being manufactured to do what it's meant to do, uh, you know, that, that's a, a key challenge, I think. Best cycling clothing is always going to be the stuff that you, you put on, you get out there, and then you forget, you're not constantly like scratching or, or shifting around, moving chamois and, and stretching because things are pulling in, wrong, in the wrong way or you know, having an adverse effect. I mean, you don't want to put, put, put a set of tights on and think that you've got stiff legs because it's actually the way the seams are cut and, and the cut of the actual uh, material and, and the garment. So, you know, they're the best things, the things you put on and, and never think about. It's specific for the job, but it, it covers a wide variety of things from the road that that, that you need. Just simple things like the jersey, you don't have um, elastic in the sleeves, uh, low collars, being able to breathe, it being fit, it being functional. It does let um, body heat out, but it's keeping you it dry. So it's an item of clothing, you don't have to think about it once it's on. And, it's, and it goes full circle. And it's, it's a key element to, uh, I think, any, any clothing. It's all about being aerodynamic as well. So the, the sleeves now are more lycra, they, they are um, figure hugging, arm hugging, so there's no excess material. You've got mesh um, in, the right, in the right places, um, obviously you've got pockets on jerseys, so you know, things like where you, you get in mesh um, on the jersey underneath the pocket, just to allow, allow that heat transfer. Um, having cutaway collars so you know, you're not impeding where you're breathing, you know, especially if you're winning races and you, you, you're getting that jersey up, up around your up around your Adam's apple, you don't want to dig it in, but you, you still want to be giving it the full salute. So, yeah, all those little things. I mean, um, the shorts have got texture on the shorts themselves, underneath the chamois, so you actually grip the saddle. So it does away the need for, for extra grippers on the saddle um, that, could, that could like prove uncomfortable over a certain amount of time. But this actually helps you stick to the saddle and, and hold and maintain your position for longer. Little features, little things that you know we have. Um, maybe a, for race radios, is that there's, you know there's, there's the holes. I mean, you're not you're not at a start line with a pair of scissors cutting pockets off to try and get a, a cable through for a radio. Um, little things like um, at the end of a race, all your all your washing, all the kit that you've used the day goes outside your hotel room in a bag and gets put in a team washing machine. It comes back and you're ferreting around trying to find their my shots, know their my socks. So little things like the, like the name tags and where you can write and put your details in so nothing goes missing. And it just makes your life so much simpler. And you're trying to grab seconds of rest between racing. So anything like that that helps, you know, is, is, a, is a benefit to, to racing cyclists.